Muslim Women's Council. Myself, I am a product of a woman. Not only one woman, but many women. My mother, my wife, and the greatest woman in humanity, such as the wife of the Prophet Sallallahu who was the backbone of his mission. As Lady Mary was an icon of humanity. As the mother of Moses, who saved Moses and let him to be grown in the house of Pharaoh. Pharaoh is where he came from, Egypt. So, woman role in society should be taken by you. You should not beg anybody to empower you. If you are unable to be empowered, you are not the woman that we have to respect. All the women I mentioned have made history and became legend. If I mention a small story of the hairdresser of the daughter of Pharaoh who became on the religion of Moses, peace be upon him. And the daughter realized that. And she was complaining to her father, telling her my hairdresser who combed my hair at, in the palace became follow, was start to follow Moses, peace be upon him. You know what she did and what he did to her? So it became an icon for humanity and humanity up till now. She had five children. And he told her, this boiling oil, can you see it, woman? I will throw your children one by one if you don't follow me as God. He said, no, I follow the religion of Moses. Peace be upon him. First child, second child, third child, and and. Before he threw her into the boiling oil, she requested him for something. He thought that she was going to beg him for her life. He said, when you throw me into the boiling oil, Please put my bones with the bones of my children in one graveyard. This is the woman that we should stand up for. History might not have mentioned her name, but we mentioned her story to tell us, woman, don't change your religion into culture. Many people claim that they are scholars, but they follow their culture. They don't follow the real teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of any other prophets. It become a nationalistic culture, it become tribal culture, it become man culture. I was in South Africa two weeks ago and one of the Muslim woman activists told me, I was talking about being in the mainstream. She said, mainstream here is not mainstream, it's mainstream. So be careful. To lose your power. Know your rights, stand up for your rights, and build the community that with your love, your care, your compassion. I'm very proud of two women, which one of them is still living with me up till now. <laughs> she is suffering for the last how many years? Anybody came to my wedding? Did you come? <laughs> You were invited. <laughs> Sorry, you missed it. I think, when did you marry? When did you, me? No, not you. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> no, my wife. My, I have one wife. <laughs> no, uh, 36 years. Oh, I've been here 37 years. I see. <laughs> Without my mother, who taught me one thing, Sunny, don't mix with rich people. You know why? Because you'll always complain about what they have that you don't have. Mix with the poor ones to feel that you are blessed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
mix with the poor. Alhamdulillah. Second woman is uh, my wife. And if I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say about her. And she is behind every footstep in my life since we got married. Great woman, but she never want to become on the stage. And she's always working from behind. And this is the quality of the woman that build community, that build society, that build future, and that build legacy. And I believe that every woman in this room is as for, for following the footsteps of Khadija, Lady Mary, or Asia, or the hairdresser of the daughter of Pharaoh of Egypt. What do you want to do in Bradford? We want to build Bradford to become one of the greatest city, not only in UK, but globally. You can do that if you believe in yourself. Faith is a drive. Drive to build community, drive to save community, drive to save humanity. And if our faith is not translated into action that build community, save society, and make generation to come to live in a better life than what we are having nowadays, the life of Islamophobe, the life of the xenophobe, and the life of all the phobes. No way. Bradford, for me, is a city of multicultural, multiracial, and multi of the Maltese, all the Baltis and the others in Bradford. <laughs> so really, we have a mission. Really, we have a mission to accomplish before we leave. We have been born and created by God to fulfill the mission of God on earth. I'm very proud Muslim of my religion. Like any one of us is very proud of his or her religion. Our religion unites us, as Sheikh Hamda Yusuf said, if we understand it. With the leniency and mercy and forgiveness of Allah, Allah make you lenient, not stony-hearted, not rude, not rude. And if you were that, they could have left you alone. And this is the character of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is the character of Jesus, peace be upon him. And this was the character of Moses, peace be upon him. Of Abraham, peace be upon him. The father of all the prophets that we believe in as Muslims. And we are very proud of our prophets, our mission, our vision for humanity because we are humanity's savior. To conclude, I have not seen any young. I ask you to come next to me. Yes, my lady. No, no, it's you and the young man. Yes. Come on, don't worry. Daddy, bring her with you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because this stage is enough for all of us, not only for one individual. It can take all of us. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because I invest in you. Come on, come on this way. Anyone else here as my age? Yes, one, one, one. I can see him there. Behind the uh, Ihtisham. Behind you. Yes, come on. Bring him, bring him. Anybody else? I am going to invest in you. Sorry, my sisters and my brothers. These are my future. These are the generation to come that we should spend our life, our effort, and our dreams to build a better future for them. Without us thinking about a future to build, about peace to build, about community to build, we are not truly believers. No matter what we call ourselves, no matter how long is our beard, 
or how colorful is our dress or how, our, how, how beautiful is our speech. No way. Investment in here. Investment is in here and the investment is in here. And this is where we tell our governments, no matter who are the governments made out of, this is what we need to invest in education, health, and motivation, because we are one family. Yes? You say yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, And when we look at the future, we look at them. Stop looking in the mirror to only see yourself or ourselves. Keep looking at the community, at the generation to come, and those will make the difference. You will make the difference. Yes. yes. <laughs> you will make the difference. Yes. Inshallah. We become a change maker. To conclude with my two stars on my right and my, what's your name? Eden. 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 Ismail. Ismail. The name of a prophet and Eden. As a, the heaven is uh, heaven. one heaven here. Yeah. Oh, you are from heaven. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're right. You're right. Shake hand. Shake hand. <laughs> Don't be scared. And we are going to uh, give some little award for the Muslim Women's Council. Come on, come this way. Oh, is this for me to read? Yes. I don't know what to read. I don't, this is not my reading glasses. <laughs> Islamic Leaf would like to recognize and thank the Muslim Women's Council and their service to humanity through supporting Islamic Relief, please. CEO, what is the CEO? CEO, I'm going to, because <laughs> I don't know how I, I never used to read my speeches. I don't have. They've actually caught us by surprise when they're expecting this. Uh, I just gave you the stage as uh, tends to happen. Drop out this to you. Okay. Um, my name is Zia, by the way. I work with Islamic Relief. I, I came, I'm just a delivery driver today. I just brought this. Um, but it's really just, you know, in the 10 years that these guys have been working um, throughout that process, uh, they've always supported Islamic Relief and ultimately not Islamic Relief, but those that we serve through the vehicle that is Islamic Relief as well as many other organizations. So we just, on this occasion, wanted to take this opportunity to thank them and to recognize them. I'd like to, uh, wanted to ask Vanna and also uh, the other directors, the chair, um, Sister Selina, Sister Fatima as well, if you guys, and any of the directors that are here, if you'd like to come up and just accept this award from Dr. Hani, inshallah, and then I'll give this to you. Come on, Fatih, 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 Fatih. Fatih. <laughs> well, what can we say, Salam Alaikum, first of all, but thank you so much, Dr. Hani. They've actually hijacked our award ceremony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aiden, can you give her the award? Can, can yeah. I've got the model? Shall I? Selena? Selena, would you like to say a few minutes? And the youngsters, can we put you on the outside and Mother's Women's Council on the inside? Yeah. yeah. Can we do that? <laughs> do you want to go on? Do you want, if I can bring you forward a little bit? Oh, it's okay. Oh can I remove this mic? Is yeah. that all right? Aiden, give me. Yeah. Give it to me. Are you giving it to me? Yes, please. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Right, and you did just come forward a little bit? I think you Round of applause for Dr. Hanny O'Banner. I'll hand back to Selena at this stage. Would you like to?